Hello from my kitchen table. Today, I don't usually film here, but it's a good spot because there's a light right here and they asked for good lighting because I'm doing a little Chanel online, I guess it's a class. Um, I was invited and I'm pretty sure it's because of Margaret, so thank you so much for inviting me. It's the Le Cour Iconique class and they actually sent over a few items. So I wanted to talk through what is in here. We have the Le Volume de Chanel mascara in a 10 noir we also have the and i've already hydrated or moisturized my face but it's a little dry today um, they sent over the micro serum the hydra beauty micro serum there's also a Le lift um, eye cream in here a little one and then the cutest tiniest little rouge allure velvet lip shade in rouge v oh i don't have this in 58 this is in shade 58. They're going to talk us through, I think, the iconic Chanel look, and they said to have some things ready. So I'm just checking the email. It says, set up in a well-lit area. So I think it's pretty well lit. Have your sample kit, which I just showed you. A mirror, which I have my uh, simple human mirror right here. At least I can see here. <laughs> um, I have also, what does it say? It says also makeup remover, and I have their micellar water as well as eye makeup remover tissue i have that standing by cotton favorite foundation i went with a chanel foundation of course the one that i love the sublimage one is a little bit light for me so i thought i'd go in with this one which is bd51 your favorite concealer also concealers so i brought these the clay de peau concealer and then my sisley La Prairie combination. I also brought the, the new Chanel items. I haven't really figured out the best way to use these yet. So I don't know, maybe they'll mention them and then I can throw them in if it works. And also, okay, foundation, concealer, eyebrow products. So I brought my Gucci, oh, I brought the wrong thing. Oh, I'm glad I checked. I brought my Gucci eyebrow and then <laughs> brought a Chantecaille mascara. That's not, not what I need. I need the Chantecaille, um, brow gel and then that's it so I'll let you know what I learned but I'll let this go kind of on like a fast forward kind of thing while it's going so you can kind of see what we're doing so it should be fun so thanks Chanel for sending these over I'm excited for the class So that was so fun. I just finished up with a class and learned a lot of things I never learned about makeup before. So for instance, the application of the lipstick, I 
I filmed myself doing it here, but you make a cross first or an X first, then you flip the lipstick over and you use it as a lip liner. Same thing on the bottom and then you fill that in. I've never done that before, so I will do more in depth on that, maybe in a slower motion in a sit down video. And then the eyebrow application, eyebrow pencil application, really interesting, was going against the grain and filling in really the skin. And I think it softens the front end as well and then tapering off, so I love that technique. Um, it was one of the national makeup artists, so that was really fun to learn from him and then then they talked about the application of the eye cream. Less is more with the eye cream. Here it is. They um, sent us samples, by the way. So less is more with this eye cream and really just using it to lift. So I'd never done that before with eye cream, just kind of applied it, but really doing that lifting motion. Same thing with the micro serum, and my skin feels really hydrated, even though I had done skincare before. It has a beautiful glow now. And then it was funny because Margaret was on with me and I applied the number 31. I'm like, is this too light? I'm texting her and she's like, yeah, it looks a little light. So we thought maybe actually the corrector would be better under the eye that or 50 or 41, um, but I wanted something peachy and then maybe picking up apricot to mix with this because this is even still a little bit light as a corrector. And I just went in with my own foundation, BD51, really lightly right here. Um, so lots of fun techniques that I look forward to sharing with you, but if you have any contacts at your Chanel boutiques, if you can do an online class like that, there's always so much to learn, even though I feel like I've tried so much makeup, I'm always learning something. So thanks so much, Margaret and Chanel, again, for sending these over. So it was all sent, not all sent, but there were a few things that were sent over, and this lip is gorgeous. Number 59 Rouge V is gorgeous. So maybe one of my new favorite red colors, but I'm not sure where I will see you next, but I'm going to get dinner ready, and then I'll see you in a little bit. Good morning. We are on, we're at the weekend again. Let me move my chair. Um, as you can see, we're still, I don't know if you noticed, I didn't actually finish <laughs> cleaning the room, I just started. It needs some really intensive rearranging of things because I've accumulated quite a bit of Chanel and Chantecaille, I think I have the most Chanel and Chantecaille at this point, so I need to rearrange some of the other items I have and really figure out a better system. But I thought we'd go in today with the same look that we did with class, I thought it was so informative, and I'm gonna try the Le Lift eye cream again. So the concealers I bought, and I've gotta check the boxes, um, the concealer and the color corrector I purchased. I wanted to see if they were the same formula, and just looking side by side right now, I've got their packages right here, and they look exactly the same in terms of the, once you get down here, just looking at them. You can even see at a glance that everything is aligned the same at least they look exactly the same i'll examine just to make sure okay so that was my only concern like were they different formulations based on the color corrector versus the actual concealer because if they are the same it really doesn't matter because i'm always looking for peach colored concealer anyway so i did want to go in with the la lift and try what i learned because i am kind of forgetting what he said so i think it was like three and three and four so seven dots and then going like in this motion five i don't remember how many times but he went a few times like this so in an upward motion and this is also in an upward motion so i don't know if it really like lifts lifts <laughs> um but we'll see let's take a look it's this eye that kind of droops a little bit on me he said really pull I don't want to press too hard though, but definitely I'll do a lifting motion. So do we see a difference? Let's try the other eye. So that was the most intriguing thing I think to me on the class was using this as a lifting kind of cream, which is what it was made for. So I'm going to do the same thing over here and let's see if we get some lifting. So just taking my ring finger and using an upward motion. Pretty sure that's what this was. That was a couple nights ago. So let's, they called this the ritual, I think, was the <laughs> phrase they used for all of those different techniques. And then up. Yeah, it will really show here if there's any kind of lifting happening. And I did apply my Chantecaille Stress Repair Concentrate under this as well as the Nano Gold. 
I also wonder if my eye cream is interfering with the application of this uh, concealer or color corrector because, okay, and then lift. Does it look more lifted? I mean, it feels lifted, but probably because I've been doing that motion, but we'll see. I have the uh, Discoloration SPF 30 again by SkinCeuticals on. I'm gonna use this directly on my face. And then today what I'm gonna do is just edit a video because that needs to go tomorrow. It's totally not ready to go. And then I'm going to, oh, and then more happy hour today. Let's go in with this. So this is Pesh directly on. And I wonder if, I wonder if applying this with no foundation is gonna be better because with foundation, I think that 51 BD or BD 51 in the foundation adds a little bit of color for me. So actually directly on the face, huh, this might work. So maybe I don't need apricot. I'm actually returning 31 BD because it's too light. I never return anything, but Margaret sent me the return address label. Actually, I like this without foundation. We'll do half and see what it looks like. Hi, babe. What do you need? <laughs> Someone's ready for happy hour. Are you clean? What do you? Oh. <laughs> Sorry, that was rubbing alcohol that he needed. Not happy hour, this. <laughs> That's pretty funny. Okay, then I'm gonna go in with this under the eye area. This is where I was getting a little bit of separation. So I think maybe, first of all, I was applying too much. In the demo, they show just like a light application. By the way, Angela Van Rose has a really nice comparison of the previous versus the new formulation and she's very familiar with the original or the previous one i don't know what iteration that was but if you want to know more about that i will link her video below she's one of the reasons why i have so much chanel i watched a lot of her chanel videos <laughs> her and um allison chase so that looks actually better directly on do you see that i have not added foundation okay yeah, this on foundation is not as good and less is more. Again, this is the color corrector in Pesh, which I think is probably the best one. But they talked about warming this up with just the warmth of your fingers and then slowly and just gently sweeping it. See, I'm getting a little bit of, why am I getting some peeling over here? It might be because I have more eye cream on this side. I noticed with many skincare products, too much of the product can interfere with makeup application as well. So that's not like a new thing, but I am noticing that this is doing okay. It's doing better, looks much better over here. I don't know why than here. So that's why I like to learn about products before I um, feature them, unless it's like a first impression, but that looks really good. So for those of you who like natural light, this is a, a good indicator of how this looks in natural light. Okay, now I need to just go in with the rest of my face. Let me just do my powder and everything else and then I'll talk you through the eyebrows because I thought that was really interesting. Okay, let's pause here for a moment. Actually, let me get my Chanel eyebrow pencil. Oh, actually. Let's do it with the Chantecaille eyebrow pencil because I used it with the Gucci pencil and I know that works well. So let's try it with the Chantecaille. So first thing that, I can't remember his name. He was really good though, the makeup artist. It was a Chanel national makeup artist. His name is James. So James taught us to use this spoolie to first lift the brows so you can get the hair kind of out of the way almost because the purpose is to apply the pigment to the skin. So then taking the, and theirs looks almost the same, the Chanel one, just taking this and going against the grain. And I think that softens the look as well. So we'll find out with this if that's the case. So we'll do a nice soft brow today. And then tapering at the end, elongating. So you can see it's a much more gentle application, really fast too. 
So I love this. I love this for more casual brows. And again, I think it really helps. Let's draw on my face. Um, I think this really helps with the more natural look. I love that. So we'll do that today. I really like that application technique. Okay, lastly, I did go a little bit heavier. I like the tapered effect here, but then I just have to fill in here, so I have to even them up a little bit. But So it definitely works with the Chantecaille as well. So let's go in with a blush, something natural, mascara, and I'm gonna do the little lipstick trip trick that we talked about on there. Just apply my Chantecaille mascara, which I love, and some blush. <laughs> Where's the lip? It's a great shade. So I would definitely purchase the fur the first the full size of 58 V Rouge. Oh by the way, this uh, is a robe that I ordered. Remember that H&M order that never arrived? Uh, so I finally got refunded that, but I did want to also pick up the robe uh, that I missed out on and they applied the discount for me on this. So it's a washed linen, 100% linen robe, which is really nice for these warmer warmer months. I think the only other robe that I have is more like a fleece kind of robe. So I love this shade as well. So you might see this in a lot of videos where I'm getting ready because it's super comfortable. So with the lip, it was go like this. Okay, so take the flat side. So we're gonna use this for a purpose. So taking this and then going diagonally. So then you establish that Cupid's bow here like this. So it's like a little heart. <laughs> and then, oh no, I can't remember what was the sequence. I think it was, I think we applied it like this. I can't remember, but just getting that on and then taking this and flipping it over. And this is the part where I was a little unclear, but I think that you go like this. So you're taking this side now and using it as a lip liner. So the flat side now is up and then just using it to define like this. Okay, Margaret, if you're watching and this is wrong, let me know, but I think this is correct. And then same thing down here. And then filling in. And I really like this. They called it one of their reds. So to me, this has a really nice warmth to it. Without being orange, there's like a brick element in here. So I feel like you can go nice and warm with the blush, or you could also go cool because there's enough of a berry tone. It's a really interesting shade. I think this is a really versatile, really unique kind of a red shade. Cause I think you can see it does complement the, actually this robe I'm wearing as well. And then that's it. That's all we're gonna do for makeup today. It's pretty much a done face. So uh, those of you who saw the Instagram posting of the before and after, this is essentially, except I think I, I don't have foundation on today, so this is a difference. But I really wanted to try out this, because that's kind of my purpose with this, is to use this in lieu of foundation. This might be it. So I think I need a little bit more in the corners, but you saw how I skipped all of my regular concealers. So we're gonna see how this looks over time. And then nothing too exciting, just gonna, I need to edit, like I said, that video uh, where I compare the Chantecaille items and then, oh yeah, I need to put on a fragrance. Hold on, I gotta get that. Um, and then I'm just gonna really organize my Chantecaille and Chanel because they need to have their own dedicated spaces. And of course, take you to happy hour. Let me get my fragrance though. Okay, I found it. This one, the newest one that I picked up by the House of Oud. This is made in Italy, by the way, in case you were wondering. And I am so intrigued by the other fragrances. So here again is the bottle if you missed the other vlog and the perfume is in here. I can see collecting these and having them lined up, um, but there's one with almond that I'm really interested in. Although I don't know if samples are available, but this is available on Twisted Lily. So I've been wearing this 
daily. And in fact, the other day I sprayed it on right before I went to bed because I really love the scent and it gets better over time. It kind of softens, but it also lasts throughout the day. So it's one of those ones that it's not too intense though. So it's somewhere between like the House of Sillage, super fragrant and intense and lasts all day at the same level. This one mellows out a little bit. Okay, now I really need to. Eat. I haven't eaten anything yet, so I'm gonna make lunch. I've got a couple of my favorite kind of apple. These are Honeycrisp apples. We have a fig tree that just does not wanna give up. Actually, we thought it was long gone, but it's still producing fruit. So we have a couple of fresh figs and some yogurt, 2% Greek yogurt. And then one of these, I'm just gonna cut it up and put it on the top of everything. So this is lunch since we're going out to happy hour. The makeup is holding up so far. Just again, that concealer, the powder I haven't touched up. In fact, I kind of scratched off some of my makeup um, unintentionally, but that's okay. Um, I thought I would show you what I'm wearing. I have the video loading right now for tomorrow's Chantecaille comparison. So that kind of gives you a time frame of what, where we are. Um, it's Saturday today, and I'm gonna go ahead and show you what I'm wearing. Okay. As I mentioned before, I like to get my use out of my clothes. So here we are again in the same dress that I wore, I think it was in the San Diego vlog. I have on my new Eric Javits hat though. So I will probably pair this, not again. I just wear flip flops or slippers inside the house and then I have my outside shoes outside. So that's why I don't ever have them really inside unless I clean them really well just for this purpose. But I'll put on some either my Gucci sneakers, it's a little warm today, or most likely my YSL slides or something else. But I will be changing my shoes. which is nice, which is a nice thing. Oh my gosh, let's try over. How's that? Do you like that? We're back. I added a little bit of coconut water to some sparkling, what is that called, that kind of water? No, no, there's a special kind of sparkling water. Topo Chico, maybe? I added a little bit of water, a sparkling water and coconut water, very nice. Um, this is the makeup though, I wanted you to take a look at it because it did pretty well and it was over, 100 degrees outside, so really hot. And let me see if I can adjust the lighting a little bit for you. So the concealer did pretty well, and I just had powder. Now the blush kind of faded a little, if you can see. You can still see a little bit, but it's not as bright as it was. Not that it was bright to begin with, but I did notice it faded a little. And I haven't touched up my lipstick. Now I haven't touched up lipstick. I put on a little of the Merit lip gloss the lip oil, but let's take a really close look at the concealer, or actually it's the color corrector. Oh, also, when we go out for the happy hour, it's only once a week, we don't do this every day. So the hamburger and the fries, I don't eat like that every day. Actually, most days I don't eat like that. It's pretty healthy, like the apple and yogurt, that's normally what I eat. But I thought it was kind of fun, it's like the one time you go out during the week. But now I'm gonna make a smoothie with some bananas and kale and blueberries. Yeah, I just need to like detox that out. <laughs> Thank goodness for the Vitamix. Again, we have in here 
blueberries, kale, uh, some dark cherries, some pineapple, and banana. Hi again. As you can see, I'm not totally cleaned up yet, but I just finished a video. Actually, I finished two videos. This is the Charlotte Tilbury One Eye, One Cheek, One Lip, as well as the haul video. I actually calendared out. It's not the prettiest calendar. Actually, I need a nicer calendar. But I've already calendared out all the way through um, October, no, through September. So I have a calendar set for three videos a week. I've really been trying to get a handle on how to schedule that out. Three, three videos a week. A few more vlogs since I think those of you who really like them like them. So thank you so much because um, yeah, I'm never sure of what people would like to see, but your feedback has let me know that at least some of you really like them. Um, so we are going to incorporate more vlogs. I feel like I'm bending down because I, my tripod's kind of sitting on top of everything I cleaned. I cleaned, I cleaned. Um, it's not there yet, but I need to organize my Chanel and my Chantecai. So we're gonna do that together, actually. You can see I've got Chantecai taking up two of these now, and Chanel I've got over there. Oh, I'll show it to you later with two. But I also thought we'd do something kind of fun. Where did it go? Oh, this. I thought we would do this. So someone had said uh, you could turn this into a um, clutch, which I don't know. I feel like I saw, okay, so I saw the video and you pop this thing out. So let's see if I can pop this out, but then really there's very little room because to me a clutch has to be able to fit my bone. <laughs> but I'm, we'll take this out and just see. I don't know if it's really gonna work as a clutch. We'll see. So we're gonna turn this into a clutch, make, not make, finally organize that. And then, oh my gosh, my blush that broke, the Joy one, it just kept falling apart and I kept stepping in it and then stepping on the rug. And then my rug turned pink. <laughs> so I just had to clean that out with a carpet cleaner. It's still kind of pink, but well, I'm gonna change because I, again, have a shirt over a dress. That's what I'm wearing in this video again, but I'm gonna change into something a little bit more, less formal for this um, because I might get some makeup on me and then we'll finish organizing the Chanel and the Chantecai items. I told you you would see this robe more often. <laughs> I love this. It's really comfortable. In fact, I'm thinking of getting <clears throat> a couple more just because, I don't know, I like the linen fabric. I think it's really breathable and they have other colors, so. <laughs> and it has pockets in the front. I'll put an image of it here so you can see what it looks like in case you'd like to pick one up. There's always a sale though, so I would wait for sale to pick one up. So we're gonna take this and just pry this off. Tweezers, where are my tweezers? I have to find something. I wonder if I can use a pen. See how close there's extra items right there? This is a very bright one. So I'm gonna take a pen and see if I can get in there. Okay, so it gets under there. It's plastic. So I've got the edge here. I'm just going to pull. There's like a gummy substance, like a glue. Okay, so this is the palette. It's very thin with the colors in it. And then this, oh gosh, it's sticking to everything now. Okay, there's glue on the bottom, so just be careful. And then here is inside. That's what the inside looks like. And then they said you could put like credit cards in there? I don't know, what is this? Is this metal? Again, I feel like if my phone can't fit in there, it really isn't gonna do much. I guess you could put like credit cards in there and it does like hold. So I guess you could get away with it if you had like maybe a key. I don't even think that lipstick fits in there. Let's see. Let's take one of my smallest lipsticks, this Victoria Beckham. Yeah, it doesn't fit in there. <laughs> so really, I guess if you have a credit card or bank card, or like if you're at a hotel and you have your hotel key in there, actually still have the sticker on the mirror, a nice size mirror in there. Hi babe, how is it out there? Is there thunder, is that what I was hearing? Yeah. Oh, okay, yeah, it's a little overcast outside. I haven't been outside today. So there it is. Um, 
it it can I guess work as a clutch if you want it to but really nothing fits in there except for credit card sized things <laughs> okay well it was kind of fun just to see what was inside here we're gonna go ahead and organize Chanel and Chantecaille and then finally get this room put back together Here are all eyes and blushes that I have. So I've got blurries together, Tisse palettes together, and then things that don't really belong together yet, some singles. I've got the Le Beige palettes here, and then blushes. So these are my new formulation blushes, my old formulation blushes. So I'll be filling in and comparing as I go. And I think it's a highlighter. So yeah, definitely room for more blushes now. So I have here my Chanel base products, um, bronzers, powder, um, another powder, and some balms. And then I do have a separate uh, container just with lip products. I think I'll leave them in there. And yeah, definitely more room. As you can see, I struggled a bit with these just because the magnets are pushing against each other, but I think it'll be fine. Just like that. <laughs> 